Thanks, Jane. Good evening and welcome to Look North. Tonight, the South Yorkshire man sharing the reality of life with stiff person syndrome. Thanks for joining us. A man from South Yorkshire who suffers from a rare neurological disorder is calling for more awareness of the condition among medical professionals. Ian Rawlings has stiff person syndrome or SPS which causes painful spasms throughout his body that can last for several hours. It's a condition that's been brought into the spotlight recently after Celine Dion posted this video to her many social media followers announcing that she'd been diagnosed with SPS. Unfortunately, these spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk and not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. Now, our report tonight contains distressing images of Ian experiencing these episodes, but Ian wanted us to show this to raise awareness. Corin Wheatley reports. Ian was once a keen motorbike rider. Now the couple describe life as a kind of lockdown. He's had various treatments over the years, including plasma exchange and types of chemotherapy to deliberately lower his immune system. But a hospital is, in itself, one of the most triggering environments he could be in. He and Andrea have had to fight many battles over the years for help and understanding. Ian Rawlins was diagnosed with the autoimmune neurological disorder stiff person syndrome in 2019. He'd had symptoms for many years before that. The progressive condition has affected every aspect of his life. They can vary from basically like having a, an electric shock, for instance, to down your leg, to actual full body spasms where Every muscle in, in the body is in spasm and it's the pain is incredibly excruciating, it's incapacitating, they can last for hours. Shortly after this interview, Ian went into full body spasm. He wants us to use this footage, taken with his permission, to show the reality of this condition. I know that seeing me in full spasm can be quite distress distressing for other people. I mean, it's distressing for me from the inside. It's more for the, the medical profession to actually see what it's really, really like. It's awful to see him suffering and not be able to reach out and touch him to reassure him because if I touch him, I know it can intensify the pain or it could cause fractures in his body. It's awful not being able to just put your hand on his shoulder or, you know, stroke his hair or anything. I once had hiccups, that triggered him. I, I can sneeze because I have hay fever, so you're constantly thinking, I've caused him this pain. You do feel a kind of guilt. It takes many, many years to get a, a diagnosis. Doctors think it presents as other conditions or the people get misdiagnosed with other conditions because of the lack of knowledge. With me speaking up, just to, to raise awareness so that people don't have to suffer for many, many years before they get proper diagnosis and treatment to try and help them. Corinne Wheatley, BBC Look North, Woonwell. Two men have been sentenced for taking part in violent disorder in Rotherham two weeks ago. Both Niven Matthewman and Nathan Palmer were part of a group who gathered outside a hotel in Mambers. Tom Ingle reports. Today at Sheffield Crown Court, two more men faced the consequences for their part in the violent disorder outside that Manvers hotel two weeks ago. First in the dock was a 19-year-old man, Niven Matthewman. The court heard that he'd been filmed carrying around a large piece of wood and throwing a chair towards the hotel. He'd also participated in chanting Yorkshire, Yorkshire and violently rocking a police dog van from side to side. The recorder of Sheffield, Judge Jeremy Richardson KC, told the defendant his conduct had been shameful. He sentenced Matthewman to two years, eight months in prison. 
Next in the dock, a man who was 10 years older, 29-year-old Nathan Palmer from Hemingfield. He had also pleaded guilty to violent disorder and again, like Matthewman, was sentenced to two years, eight months in prison. The judge told him, the simple fact of the matter is you did participate and you were well to the fore, adding what possessed you to participate in this crime can only be described as comprehensive stupidity. The cases of two other men have been adjourned for later dates. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North at Sheffield Crown Court. All right, then it's time to take a look at the weather forecast now. How's it looking, Paul? A bit changeable, a bit unsettled, unfortunately. Definitely some rain in the forecast, particularly later in the week, Thursday and Friday. And this is the headline for tomorrow. Sunny spells, a few showers, so not a bad day. But this is the chart for Thursday. And you can see a number of isobars. There'll be some rain and a strengthening west to southwesterly wind and it's been quite wet out there in the last couple of hours i think after midnight we'll begin to see some breaks pushing in from the west a few sharp showers returning to pennine areas very mild night actually temperatures coming in at 14 or 15 degrees so a bright start in the east but some very heavy showers across the Pennines. They will very quickly move across mainly North and West Yorkshire behind. It's a straightforward mixture of sunshine with one or two showers, a blustery wind. Temperatures a little below average for the second half of August. 19 Celsius at 66 Fahrenheit. Tuesday evening, sunshine with a few showers. Wednesday looks windy, but mostly dry and bright. That is the forecast. Thanks, Paul. All right, that's it from the late team. Corinne will be back with you bright and early tomorrow morning. That's it from us. Thanks for watching.